Hey, what's up, guys? It is Matt Salvatore from Builds with Blocks coming at you with a brand new review of the latest Halo Infinite Mega Construct set, the Skift Intercept. Now, when Skift Intercept was first revealed, I gotta say it was probably my least favorite of the line. But after being able to build it and kind of hang out with it for a little bit, I have to say I've done a complete 180 on this set. And there are a lot of little design intricacies and details that I think really elevate this set. But first off, this set retails for around $39.99 and has a piece count of 452. This set includes four figures. You get the Mark 7, two Brute Warriors, and a Grunt. Now... The cool thing about the Mark 7 is that this is the same design as the Mark 7 in the Halo Heroes line, but he is a really nice Master Chief almost set of green. Um, so it's really nice to see the Mark 7 in these green colors. I think that kind of shows you just what Master Chief would look like if he was in the new updated Mark 7 design. The cool thing about his helmet and the Mark 7 design helmet is it really does harken back to George from Noble Team. So I like how everything kind of pulls together on these designs. Next up, we have the Brute Warriors. And the Brute Warriors have some interesting designs because they don't include any banished colors. No red whatsoever. And they only have one shoulder pad and one thigh pad. So one side is left completely defenseless and the other side is completely shouldered and uh, armored up. Which is kind of interesting, but I think kind of offers a unique design aesthetic. That actually, I think, kind of works for what the Banished are. And we get a Grunt. And this Grunt is a uh, Grunt that we've seen several times in other sets before. Uh, red armor with a light tan flesh tone color. So uh, plasma pistol with that. The weapons that also come with this set include the Bulldog Shotgun, which is just completely black. So if you're looking for a weapon that doesn't have any of the details and just goes with the black design, this has a Bulldog Shotgun just for you. This set also includes two Manglers and a Plasma Pistol. Now, this set also does include the Not Brute Shot. Now, guys, this weapon must be super important and infinite because it is in literally every set that Megas drop. So I'm curious to see what this weapon's called and what it can actually do. It's piqued my interest. All right, guys, now let's talk about the design itself. Now, when I first saw this set revealed, I thought the skiff would be longer. Um, for some reason, I, I, the picture gives the impression that it's longer and narrow, and it looks uh, more like a specter or something like that, or a shadow. And that's what I was thinking of, is that it's long and narrow. But in actuality, it's actually a little stubbier and wider. So it's a little more uh, banished looking, and it's a little more broad. Now, that's actually something that I thought was pretty neat, because it is pretty wide, so you can fit quite a bit of figures in the troop bay. Um, next up is the overall build quality of this set. It's very sturdy. Um, I love just how all the pieces kind of tie together and fold over each other. There's a lot of little uh, areas where pieces kind of overlap to give it this kind of sharp metal appearance, which is nice. So it, it, it harkens back to the prowlers or the brute choppers that brutes are known for. This set also comes with some awesome printed uh, pieces. So we got a lot of uh, bullet holes on uh, this skiff. And there is, and you really can't see it in the, the box art, but in the control panel where the brute sits to drive this, there are some very nice blue little decals in the pieces that arch over the handles. So a lot of little detail and stuff like that. There's a lot of little yellow lines that go throughout the whole set and kind of give it this banished paint color. It's nice to see some yellow thrown in on this. So that's awesome. Um, if I had one gripe, I would say it would be the turret in the front. I don't like that it's just a solid cylinder piece. Um, it looks kind of like it could have been maybe a bit more of a build platform instead of just one big cylinder that spins. But other than that, I think that's probably my only gripe with this set. But the rest of it is fantastic. I love just the amount of detail that Mega has put into it. Um, the turret does spin, so you just turn the knob in the back and it spins the spins the turret. Which actually, the turret is also another pretty interesting part of this set. It does have a flick fire uh, action to it, so you can fire these nice green little... Uh, energy so that's kind of neat to see um overall guys i have to say that this set is pretty awesome i think it's one of the most one of the sets i'm most excited to see come alive in halo infinite so i'm really kind of intrigued by it i love that it can carry 
a significant amount of figures. So this again kind of ties back into what I've been saying about the Mega Construct line this year is that it's kind of all about army builders and building your forces for infinite. And this is a great set to get. Not only do you get an awesome, awesome amount of figures to build your army, but it's also a good place and a good way to transport your army. So it's a nice little transport vehicle that has a lot of detail. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and sticking with me on this review. Uh, what do you guys think about it? Uh, do you guys like it, love it, hate it? What do you guys think? And how do you guys think that this set will play into Infinite? If I'm not mistaken, this set is a non-driving vehicle. So what do you think is going on with this set? All right, guys. Thank you so much. And as always, evolve.